Hi everybody, welcome back to the craft room. Today's card is going to be made using this stamp set, Treasures of the Deep, Strange Sea Creatures Die Set and A5 Stamp Set by Sheena Douglas. And I'm going to use the fish. That's what I'm going to stamp him onto and I've pulled out some alcohol markers. I'm going to do him blue and orange because why not? So first thing I'm going to do is get this guy stamped. So let me move some of this out of the way. I'm going to just cut this down a little bit. Cut it down completely after I'm done. So Oh my goodness. I do need to think about a bit of composition because um, I don't know where to stamp him. I think I'm going to stamp him in this lower section here. I like that. So let me get some memento ink because I'm colouring alcohol markers. Actually, change of plan. Let me just wipe that off. I'm going to stamp him in the misty, colour him, and then re-stamp him afterwards. So, the reason I don't use this one for that is it's not got an edge on the bottom to butt it up against. So, it just means that the misty is a bit easier for lining up. So, because I can use the corner that in the corner and line him up again so move him about there okay let's try again This is just one of those hockey pucks off of um, Amazon because I find the misty quite difficult to press down. So okay, so that will be all right because I'm going to re-stamp him anyway. side and that and this so the colours I have got let's do a bit of swatching while I'm here in this piece I've got are oh, pond green, cloud blue, pick up green. blue
throat blue. Rouge orange. Peach pie. And quince. So, blue and orange. So, I'm going to start with the darkest one, which is the BG6. I'm going to do some of the shading. So, there's areas where the illustrator has put some shading in so we're going to do those bits it's alright my bit I'm going to put some bits in where I think it should be as well. So, just where some of these are overlapping. So, I can come in and do more later. Let's get to the PB9. Pull out an even lighter one than that, actually. So I pulled out a pale aqua mint, which is that, and a green shadow. Let's do a little bit of this on there.
okay so there he is i think i went very quiet through that so i will probably um just put on some music for you because otherwise it's complete silence <clears throat> so i might go around him with something let me put these away and have a thing i think i'm going to go around him with a um greek rains green 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 gray green grey one and green grey three let me just have a quick check first you try the one first and then i'll go darker if i think we need to go darker of swimming. Okay, let me re-stamp that then. time to dry while I have a quick tidy up. So I've got a black card base. Let me uh, cut this down. So we definitely want it So that's going to go on there. I might have a look for a sentiment, but I don't know what will go on there. Let's see if it's a soup's a hat, just a happy birthday or a best wishes. I might not put one on.
Just run a happy birthday down there. Or up top. Let's see if the best wishes looks better because it's a little bit smaller. both on black and see because I still don't really know which one I want to use. So I'm just going to put a bit of black behind both of them. Do the happy birthday up there actually for a change. Let me get this bit stuck down first and then I will make the decision. I'm going to pop it at the top, I think. Fancy putting a little bit of glitter on that fish. <laughs> I might just try it on his uh, fins first. I'm trying to get some more of this. I don't think this might have run out. Oh no, there we go. He's having glitter all over. Nice. So I think this is our envelope. So this this card. You see a bit of glitter on there. Blue and orange fish and matching envelope ish. So that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Okay. Bye.